Okay, well, uh, here we are. We're still at the Freedom Festival. I'm talking to David from Freedom to Choose. Thank you for agreeing to have a few words with us. I know know you're very busy. Um, Can you tell us something about Freedom to Choose and what you're trying to achieve? Freedom to Choose were formed on the 31st of October 2007 uh, with the aim of trying to reverse the smoking ban and stop all the other legislation against smokers that's going on at the moment. Okay, and what are you actually campaigning on right now in, in, in 20... Uh, although it's been passed, we were campaigning heavily against the plain packaging. Mm-hmm. And most importantly, I'm doing quite a bit of media work at the moment and writing on the banning of uh, smoking in outside spaces. Oh, that's great. That's great. Okay, now I know obviously a lot of people who are watching this will think you're still fighting a bit of a losing battle because, you know, the, the, the trend over the past few years has been going a, a, against smokers, yep. but it's still quite a sizable chunk of the population. Uh, it? Yeah, it's, um, it, it depends what things you're looking at, but, but approximately one in five are regular smokers, uh, and about one in three of us are irregular and regular smokers. Oh, OK. Well, well, it's, it's not more than you actually think. It is, isn't it? It's quite, quite a chunk. So what are you looking to uh, be doing maybe over the next six months or so? Next six months or so, I should imagine like, I should be uh, getting, get, getting together some, some empirical evidence about the effect of smoking outside. And I should be, I should be also doing, doing quite a bit of writing a bit and blogging about this as well, and make, make sure the politicians know exactly what they're batting, batting up against. I hear a lot of junk science from them. <laughs> okay. Well, great. Well, thanks for taking time to uh, to talk to us. Okay. Okay.